Mr. Rector Magnifters, Examining Committee, Staff, Student, and invited guests. Good afternoon. I thank God to be here to present to you my research titled Integrated Urban Infrastructure for Sustainable Improvement of Movement and Safety in the Road Corridor, the case of the Islam Tanzania. I will first give the background and objective of my study. I will give research methodology and findings, and finally, I will give conclusion and recommendation. The study was conducted in Tanzania, the Islam, to investigate the urban infrastructure interaction effects on movement and safety in the urban road corridor. So I want to take you to Tanzania. This is the map of Tanzania. Tanzania is situated in East Africa, and secondly blue is Dar es Salaam, where this study was conducted. And this is the city of Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam has three districts, and the study roads traverse these three districts. And these are the corridors, I had five corridors, four of them were dual carriageway, and one was, was single carriageway, making a total of 70 kilometers of the study. This is typical road section of material roads, and this is underground infrastructure you can find. You can find sewer, telephone lines, water on the road surface, you can find mineral. But if any of this underground fail, this is what happened. You cut the road to trace the failure and make it repair. So the consequences of the failure are flooding due to the past of the pipe, congestion, and these challenges were inspirational toward this study. Most studies were carried out in literature review. Most of the studies were carried out in developing countries, but the stage gained, the final gain cannot be transferred to our country, but there are some conclusions draw. I reviewed also uh, uh, literature on urban management, congestion and safety. Most of the study were focusing on the failure of individual elements of infrastructure. No attention was given to the effect of failure of infrastructure to the, urban, uh, to the movement and safety. The objective was to identify infrastructure asset interaction and their effect on the movement and safety to develop alternative road corridor management strategies for sustainable improvement of movement and safety and to show that integrated infrastructure development is a necessary strategy for improving movement and safety in the Dyson city. So I have a question on this research. What are the characteristics of interaction of urban infrastructure? What are the effects of these uh, interactions? And what are the planning, design, and management of strategies for sustainable improvement of movement and safety? This is methodology. I used both quantitative and qualitative. I collected the data through condition survey, questionnaire, target group, um, stakeholder interviews, documentary review, and I use the surveillance cameras. For the observations, you can see that this is the open manual. People, they cut for underground repair, but they don't repair properly. Fairly after the cut, and this is a type of accident occurring to the open cut. I use this tool, this is a surveillance camera. I use the mobile camera, which you was, was fixed in the car. Uh, this fixed, we are, we, I used the crane to mount them at the desired gate, and this year I was closed in the iron bar for prevention from theft. <laughs> so they were safe throughout the entire study period. So the data, I got the instance from surveillance camera, also the road condition from the survey, and SPSS results for the uh, data, nominal data, nominal data. For the condition, this is road surface condition for the standard road, road corridor. I categorize them as poor, fair, and good. This 
graph show how the road corridor feature affects safety of movement. We have there very high extent. I found that road surface condition was significantly causing effect on safety of movement. For the interview, this take all the opinions. For the physical layout and condition, we don't have the master plan for urban infrastructure. Lack of knowledge, operators doesn't know where the underground is situated. For operation and management, there is the uncoordinated operations and hard work repair of urban infrastructure. For monitoring and evaluation, no follow-up system. And the repair and extension of underground utility affects severely the road surface. For accident data, I use MAP 5 for windows for analysis. And this is most of accidents occurred along Morogoro Road, which is 45%, to 6% is Bagamoro Road. The road corridor survey analysis model was used to develop road corridor index. The road corridor safety feature index is mathematically defined as Z as the summation of pi, C, and omega. Where the pi is presence of road corridor feature, C, the occurrence of accident, <coughs> and omega is severity of accident. So I used this model to, uh, to find the index. I get the index along the corridor. This is Mandela Road. And the, the index is it, it, lower when it, there is safe, and when it ha the risk is high, the index is high, it means that there is no, no, the, safety is, the road safety is impaired. So from 0 to 0 0.025 is low risk, it means that the area is safe, and from 0 0.055 to 1, there is high risk. So this is a safety risk. When you have high the in index, it means they at that location, the safety is impaired. The findings, it was found that infrastructure safety is geographically interdependent. This was obtained in analyzing proximity among the underground infrastructure and the correlation between proximity and fault interaction. How many road corridors does some affect movement and safety? I analyzed the mean flow, which indicated that the traffic was low where there is fault operation interaction. Analysis of variance, which also show the significant association of infrastructure interaction with the move of movement and safety. Integrated urban infrastructure is a necessary strategy for improving movement and safety. Adapting integrated infrastructure show minimizing the effect of, integra of integration of urban infrastructure. Content analysis also show the need to integrate urban infrastructure management and operations. Based on the finding, we conclude that is urban infrastructure is inevitable independent interdependence in the road corridor. The results also indicated that movement and safety are serious problem in the Islam. The interaction caused significant deterioration of one infrastructure to the other, and impairment of movement and safety was accelerated by mismatch in standard and lack of coordination among the operators. Based on the finding, we recommend to the government of Tanzania, the policy makers, and the implementing agents that it is important to integrate development, operation, and management of urban infrastructure, to establish an urban infrastructure and road corridor management system, to provide utility corridor so that you can minimize the conflict on the roads and the road surface to develop shared urban infrastructure master plan. It is also important to establish comprehensive urban infrastructure database, to put into use the developed guidelines, and to establish a digital urban infrastructure which is GIS and GPS based. When this recommendation will be uh, implemented, we expect the Islam city to become more competitive with low traveling costs, reducing traveling time, and improve the condition of, for mobility and safety. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, dear candidate.
Uh, we will now start the official uh, opposition and the defense. And we propose to organize that in two rounds. So every opponent behind this table, and if you can see, there are six, will probably have the opportunity to put a question uh, two times, meaning that we have two rounds of, uh, of questions. I now call upon the first external examiner, Professor Needham from uh, Radboud University, Nijmegen, to start the exchange of ideas. Dear candidate, your starting point is that often an urban road corridor provides space not only for the road, but for many other types of infrastructure also, <coughs> gas, water, electricity, communication cables. Moreover, you have established that these different kinds of infrastructure in the one corridor can affect each other. In particular, if one of the utility services has to be provided or expanded, repaired, relocated or serviced, this can affect the movement, traffic flow and the traffic safety in that corridor. Fine. You have shown by very careful and detailed research that such situations occur along certain sections of arterial road in Dar Salaam, and you have predicted by using a model of the road corridor safety analysis, the, the improvements to traffic flow and traffic safety of implementing what you call the integrated high performance infrastructure. And you conclude quite logically that such integrated high performance infrastructure should be implemented in Dar Salaam. Now, let me begin by congratulating you on your work let me thank you for teaching me a lot about urban road corridors and infrastructure. Now I want to push you further, and I do this by referring to your propositions, which refer to the problems of coordinating the technical solutions among the stakeholders, as proposition one. We talk about the lack of integrated approaches in question three and the uncoordinated placement of infrastructure facilities in question four. And my question to you is the following. How should the provision and maintenance of the various infrastructure services in an urban road corridor be better coordinated and integrated? You give a very brief answer on page 160. You have a, a Figure 6-9 shows management structures. You refer to the practice in Canada on page 38. You even say that you make use of alternatives which were successfully used in other countries, so page 57. <coughs> but you do not discuss the possibilities further or critically. And I expect that coordination and integration will be much more difficult than you seem to think, or in any case, than you have shown in your thesis. My expectation that it will be difficult is based on the observation that the road and the walkway in the street where I live has been dug up by three different utility providers in the last three months. <laughs> so clearly, coordination and integration is not easy, even in a country which is relatively well organized, like the Netherlands is supposed to be. So my question again is, how would you manage that? How would you want that integration and coordination to be organized? Thank you, Helene Toponit. Okay, during my research, during my the study, uh, during my data collection and analysis, and during my challenges, then I'm an engineer for 16 years in the mini software. I saw and I've seen <coughs> that due to each operator, we have many operators in the road corridor, and since that each operator is operating, doing service on each infrastructure at different times, but so with a certain same goal, to give service to people who have developed the management that 
we have to have to organize the to have to organize the corridor that the road authority to, should take charge of the road corridor and coordinate then each operator out at the unit of the infrastructure it has each of the unit of the infrastructure so for that unit together with the road uh, the road authority so this this management which will be built up with the road authority with representative of each operators which are who was of the infrastructure and the road corridor they will share the master plan they will could, they will together through the meetings and sharing of database which is not now existing but we will implement it so during uh, due to during to during sharing of this if uh, uh, sharing of master plan working together it will help that we implement the, the I agree, but do you think that the, uh, for example, the water utility, that is an independent body, <coughs> and the electricity 